So dancing mindfulness really fits into this larger genre of conscious dance. And if you're not familiar with that term conscious dance, it's really this idea of using your dance to reach a place of greater awareness. A lot of conscious dance forms do not rely on prescribed steps. It's more about following your own intuitive movement. And that is something, it, it's just been very vital and very important to me. And it was critical that I incorporate a lot of that freedom into how we structure dancing mindfulness cl classes. And a lot of that now appears in the book. A lot of that encouragement appears in the book. A lot of traditionalists, whether they be dance traditionalists, meditation traditionalists, yoga traditionalists, may look at what we do as kind of weird. And I definitely invite you to come with that kind of criticism and skepticism. I know that a lot of members of our community started from that mindset. And it's not saying that we're trying to convert you to the dancing mindfulness way of life, because I really believe there's a practice out there for everyone. And what we do may not be a fit or it may not be a complement with your existing practice, but I do encourage you to give this a try, whether it be coming to a class, reading the book, and I, I, I know at least in my spiritual journey, looking for similarities as opposed to differences. I just benefit so much from that practice. So even if you look at dancing mindfulness and think, well, that's not meditation because it's movement, or that's not meditation because you're working with music, Perhaps you notice in looking at one of the practices we explain in the book that it can serve as a good complement to what you already do because our spiritual intent here is the same. Uh, it's one of those, there's so many different paths home. A line that I've used in my facilitation from the beginning and we explored in the book is that stillness is part of the dance. And in the book, I explore this interplay between stillness and movement as a vital spiritual practice. So maybe just sit with that phrase for a moment, stillness is part of the dance. And if you're further intrigued, check out the explorations we give you in the book for working with that.